working uh, with a few private vessels uh, in the area, making sure that they get out of there. So we are being advised that uh, the recovery team is radioing out to the vessels in the water near Crew Dragon to vacate the area uh, so that we're able to extract Bob and Doug safely. Uh, you know, also for the safety of those folks in the area as well, not just Bob and Doug. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a dynamic operation. One of the first things we do is make sure there aren't essentially poisonous fumes around the capsule. So uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing, endanger the crew members and endanger themselves. So uh, the SpaceX team is moving in to try and get them away so they can safely recover the Dragon capsule and get Bob and Doug on deck and safely inside their medical quarters. So we can see them, they're getting a lot closer. Uh, we expect uh, about 10 minutes or so until they should be in position. Uh, all the rigging has been affixed on the Dragon capsule and once they arrive, they'll be able to use that hydraulic lift to get Dragon up and out of the water. Uh, and then in 21 minutes, we will have an open hatch. <laughs> and you can see the main recovery vessel in the top right there. That's the helipad with uh, the big SpaceX X on top. It's now backing up towards the capsule. Certainly not to be confused with one of our uh, landing drone ships. <laughs> There's a live view of dragon uh, of dragon floating in the water there in the background, along with many onlookers. <laughs> Certainly from a safer distance at this point. Uh, this is a live shot coming from Go Navigator, our rec primary recovery vessel here. So it's dra Crew Dragon is also accompanied by the fast boats that are helping to bring it in closer. Um, and there you can see a couple of the recovery team members on the deck. Uh, and also just behind them, we get our first good view of the nest. Uh, yes, so this is uh, essentially the nest in the background there. Dragon will be hoisted using the hydraulic lift out of the water and into that nest. It's already been it's already been 25 minutes since they splashed down. It doesn't feel like it. That uh, was definitely the fastest 25 yeah, minutes of the day. <laughs> the the timeline we were anticipating was for the lifting operations to start within about 30 minutes. So we're pretty much right on the timeline still. That's been a a pretty common thing so far today. Uh, you can see them uh, with one of the fast boats getting it positioned to start uh, moving out with the additional rigging. We're ready. Thank you. All right, so the crew was just told in about 30, in the next 30 seconds, they have the lines affixed, so they're gonna start lifting the capsule up out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so they're now- they'll... that A-frame. It'll start swinging it back, and it's down right to that nest at the bottom of your screen. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. Again, the recovery uh, team. SpaceX Dragon from the command. Go for SpaceX. Here we have our first view of yeah, Doug Curley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, 
my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be uh, a small part of this whole effort to get the uh, company people to and from the space station they can celebrate with each other this season and uh, we'll talk to you soon hopefully in person thanks so much doug and you're welcome and, and thank you so much for those kind words and